and with welcome to my metal channel I was going to vlog some of this ride on the way down here on uh, 94 but GoPro battery died so had to change it out figured I'd stop say hello <laughs> If you guys have never been to the museum before, it's definitely worth checking out. I love it. So, but that's not the reason why I'm down here. The reason why I'm down here is I am actually headed to the Iron Horse, which is right across the street over there. And it is bike night tonight. So every Thursday during the summer season into the fall, whoops, um, they host a bike night and I've never been to one before so I figured this is a good one to go to since it's the first one of the season so I will bring you along for that ride let's go bye museum we'll see you later just about sunset too super cool So I have no idea what to expect, what to do, where to park, none of that. The last time I was down here, I was down here not on my bike because it was the middle of March, freezing-ish um, for Flat Out Friday. So it's definitely changed a bit since then. <laughs> This is the longest light ever. She just put it in freaking neutral. Jesus. Okay. On the way down here, I did one of the rustic roads. Figured I'd try to get that one in before as well. So I did rustic road 33 near the Holy Hill area, which is so freaking sweet. And I'm sure I can put a uh, link above my head for that once I get it done. Bridges make me nervous. Oh, so uneven. There's no traction to it. It's just metal grating. Okay, so there is the Iron Horse. Just this whole area is super cool. Um, we come down here for Oh gosh, what is it called? It's supposed to be like a vintage bike um, weekend almost, but Brewtown Rumble. There we go. That's what it is. Okay, so let's see here. apparently is packed. Okie dokie. So what do I do? I guess I'm going to park by this Indian because I don't know what else to do either. I have no idea who to expect and where. if I can find anybody that I know. I definitely need to get some food too. I am starving. <sighs> Alright, 
see you guys later. That's cool. There's a train going through. All right, I'm gonna take this helmet off. Try to find some peeps and go from there. night ride for, I don't know, two years. I, the reason why I went down to bike night tonight was to really just test out night riding and on the highway, nonetheless. Because it's not something that I've done before and I'm realizing real quick what I need to bring with me if I'm gonna do this iron butt because I don't think, am I even, come on, I don't think I'm setting off the stoplight right now, <laughs> but there are certain things that I'll need for night riding because once that sun goes down, it gets cold. <laughs> so different gloves, probably an extra layer on it as well, I don't think they're going to hit me off here. Come on. <laughs> but yeah. Just a whole different atmosphere trying to ride at night. Especially with the semis and the other cars that are coming up because I tried to just stay at a normal 60 to 70 mile pace. This is what I probably would try to do. And there are certain things that that I want to have with me at least for the night riding. So, hallelujah, that was the longest light of my life. Probably not, but pretty dang close. And so I'm also testing out, last year we put on the, the LED lights for headlights for both my Sportster here and the fat boy that we have at home. So I just wanted to see how comfortable I was with that. Right now it's not too bad. Oh shoot, we're gonna stop. Um, not too bad because you've got the street lights. But once you get out of the, the cities, that's where it really comes into play. So it's actually not that bad. It's probably even better than my car to be honest with you. So I'm gonna make sure I'm still recording here. It's harder to see. Good night, quick trip. We'll see you later. Tomorrow, actually, because we're taking her back in um, to the dealership, having one of the service guys that I know and trust take a look at her just to make sure everything is in working order, just in general for the riding season but also because I'm going to attempt this iron butt, I want to make sure everything is in order 
for my sake and for the bike's sake. So it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable knowing that it's okay and ready to ride. So yeah, this is my first night vlog. Fun. But bike night was fun. I got it. I got a chance to meet with a lot of the female motorcycle ladies that I had a slight chance to meet during the Mama Tried weekend, but not a lot. It was just it was a packed madhouse. This is pre-COVID or like right before the tipping edge point of COVID happened. So I didn't get too much of a chance to catch up with them, but tonight was nice to go back to the Iron Horse, um, just really hang out, check out all the bikes that are coming in, and yeah. So I am on my way back. It's about an hour and a half drive, so by the time I left, it's pretty, pretty close to 11 o'clock when I get home. But yeah, I suppose. Whew, getting cold. I did not prepare well for nighttime driving, but this is a good learning experience. But I'm gonna set off for the night. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this moto channel and this moto episode. And yeah, I'm excited to see where the next couple weeks take me and doing completing this iron butt, hopefully, fingers crossed, and We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.